lot of people are having allergy symptoms. We're in the middle of tree and grass and start of grass season right now. And there are people that have year-round allergy symptoms and others and more commonly have symptoms during pollen season. There's two pollen seasons. One is in the spring and one is in the fall. And as I mentioned before, right now we have primarily tree pollen and then grass pollen starting as well. So it's a very common um, disorder. It affects about 30% of people in the country. What happens when you have an allergic reaction in the nose, allergic rhinitis, is that you react to certain particles, and in this case right now in this season is pollen. And what happens is the pollen gets into the body and causes the release of mediators. And these are chemicals that cause symptoms. And they include itching, um, runny nose, sneezing, um, also itching and tearing of the eyes. So that's called allergic conjunctivitis and that's basically the symptoms that you experience during pollen season. You want to be outside in this kind of weather because it's nice, so avoidance is not very optimal, um, but as far as just general things you can do when you're outside, when you come in, take a shower so that you're not getting the pollen and sleeping with the pollen on you, as, as we tell our patients. You also can wash your hands a lot because what happens is you touch the pollen and then you touch your face and that can cause the symptoms right there. Um, once you have the symptoms, you can use medications, and we have a lot of medications that are over-the-counter right now, and they're basically called antihistamines. So they block that histamine release in your body that causes the symptoms of the runny nose, the itching, and the sneezing. Those medications come in parts and types that cause um, sleepiness, particularly in medicine, a lot of people are familiar with Benadryl. But there's also antihistamines called second-generation antihistamines, and they bo will both improve the symptoms but not necessarily cause sleepiness. So those are the first-line medicines that we use for allergic rhinitis or allergic conjunctivitis. But then if the symptoms are not controlled with those medicines, then the next step is to get a prescription nasal spray from your physician or health care provider. And the way those work is they actually get into the nose and prevent symptoms. So they will decrease the swelling in the nose and the reactivity of the nose and actually prevent the symptoms. So we'll usually start those if the antihistamines aren't helping or if you need those antihistamines every day, we'll add those as preventive medications. Now, if those don't work, the medications don't work, the other option we have is to do allergy shots or immunotherapy. And those are, those are utilized if you don't have response to the medications and particularly if, you, if it impacts your quality of life. We've had patients that couldn't basically go outside. They would run from their car to their home because of all their symptoms, even on medications, and clearly that's not a great way to live. So that's a great story for when you would use allergen um, immunotherapy.